and welcome to the next level. We are happy to have you with us here tonight uh, to witness the death of all of our characters. I'm sure that won't happen. Uh, but we do have a big epic battle plan, so we'll try and get uh, to that fairly quickly. However, we have a couple of little bits to take care of. One, uh, Leon, give me a start of session roll. Yeah. Uh, number two, we do have some ask for us for tonight. So. Uh, we did have a suggestion from uh, Nicovalis for uh, something that could be found during the session. So I have jotted that down and that will uh, come up at some point and I'll, I'll make sure that that uh, gets in. Um, we also want to give maybe our characters a, a bit of a, a, a boost at time. So we are going to do a magic number episode. So if you want to give lots of fun, uh, positive things that could happen for the characters, uh, if the magic number gets rolled, then maybe one of those things will happen. And lastly, uh, if you want to have some fun, give us the last words that one of our villains will utter as they die. Um, I'm sure I'm going to regret that, but yeah, <laughs> if you've got some fun last words out there, uh, give us what you've got and uh, we'll have that uh, be somebody's last words. All right, so yes, we got magic numbers, so fun stuff there and any last words. All right, and Leon, sort of session roll with a... 17. Okay, there's a bunch of numbers there. 17. 17. Um, all right. We're right. getting there. Yay. All righty. Someday. As a quick recap, our heroes uh, have gone into the Shadow Forest. They are uh, ready uh, just outside of the, the first Shadow Dome, uh, ready to fight the Shadow Master and hopefully defeat the shadows in the Shadow Forest for good uh, and take down this dome and, and, uh, and eradicate all of the, the corruption that's been going on. Uh, Talon has been able to slip inside with a bit of a... Uh, challenge to do so uh, and is invisible and sneaking around getting things uh, set up while the others are outside and sort of getting prepared to come in and we will jump in uh, right at that point um, so Talon you are inside the dome uh, you are inside the dome uh, you can see uh, the uh, the shadow master is not that far away from you at all and uh, there's also a, a sort of, you can just see behind sort of a large tree, there's a uh, sort of a big shadow creature that's sort of following along behind them. Um, you are invisible. They don't see you as far as you can tell. What would you like to do? I believe it is potentially up to you to alert the others as to when you want them to come in. So. Uh, I will first to be, you know, extra careful just in case because, you know, we don't believe they can see me. Uh, but I am going to do a little movement and try to be a bit more hidden behind this tree. tree. Yep. yep. Um, and uh, yeah, then I will sort of have the, the, the drift globe sort of at the ready. I don't know how I've got only two hands. Um, the potion yep. you know, available, uh, but then I'll use the message stone to be like, okay, I'm inside. I, I, I can see the vampire. I can see some big shadow guy with him. Um, and I'll just convey kind of what I see in terms of like people around and I won't explain everything yep. since people yep. can kind of see it on the screen, but you know, basically what I see and that, you know, I'm basically ready whenever you are. Uh, give me a stealth check. I was see how moment. quiet you are while I others are. You were going to ask me that. Ooh, uh, all right, uh, this, oh, I haven't taken haste yet, so this will be exactly what it is. Okay. Stealth, 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 stealth. 27. All right. Uh-huh. And okay. All right. Uh, yeah, that was everybody who was potentially close by. Okay. What is the response from those outside? I believe uh, Leon and at least two others have message stones. Yep. Uh, we have then... four message stones? I thought we had three. Three or four. I think we have four, yeah. Later. yeah. Three or four? Cool. Gildy yeah. has one. Yeah, so I guess Leon will just reply that, you know, we're on, we're working on coming inside. All right. Let, give me the 10 second uh, countdown when you're ready. Nine. 
Now to sit here patiently are we, and <laughs> all right. are we ready to give him the ten second countdown? Gildy looks at the dome and says, "It looked like oh wait, was Talon invisible when he was trying to get through?" I yeah. was, but yes. Jacob was. <laughs> I think yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Gildy says to says to Jacob, like, was Talon having a hard time getting through the dome this time? Uh, Rob, we can't hear you. There we go. Sorry about that. Yep. Um, yeah, he uh, was mentioning that he uh, was having a little if difficulty getting in. I had to give him a bit of a push. So then Gildy says, uh, what should we do to make sure that we can all get in? And she kind of gestures to her shortness i guess and is like i'm not very strong uh, alphonse will probably pipe up it's like my, my new friend here again he's sitting on this giant cat creature um they're they're fairly strong they could uh, maybe push some people through if uh, if pushing works <laughs> all right let's do this okay i do not position myself to be pushed i have another way <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> For the Gildy record, looks. Wait, I need to <laughs> double check the image of the Felidar again. Guilty looks at the Felidar's claws and is like, "Okay." <laughs> it retracts them for the pushing. <laughs> All right, who wants to go first? Well, is it the ten-second countdown? And then are we in initiative order? Uh, yeah, we we I'll sort of leave you out of initiative order until sort of. You, you essentially have a surprise round. So as you're coming okay. in, things will start to happen, but you'll have a bit of surprise because you're surprising them. Okay. Um, so Gildy is happy to go first since she so, is invisible in darkness. It's true. So Gildy's a good choice. Yeah. Yeah. And while everybody's preparing and while they're getting Gildy ready to go through, I'm getting my uh, dust methods to yep. hop into my bag of holding. So okay. they're. So they're counted as part of me for when I do the thing I'm going to do. And are you giving Talon the 10 second? Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Gildy, as she's like getting to the edge of the dome, just will say into the message still like, Talon, I'm okay. on my way in. All right. So 10 seconds, two rounds. All right. So All right. Yeah, my actions, which I've already said, I think off screen was that, yeah, my first action will be taking the potion of haste. And then the second action will be, you know, drip globe, activating it with daylight at yep. the vampire. Yep. Oh, yeah. Gildy is also <clears throat> drinking the potion of boldness that uh, Jacob gave her right before going in. Okay. Um, Mint, you're also pretty strong. You're probably going on your own. But let's do Gildy first. Gildy, give me an athletics check. Uh, you have a... Uh, what would the Felidar give you as your bonus? Um... their actual strength. Yep, that'll do. So I'll, I'll say they give you a plus five. So that, okay. yeah, so you've sort of pushed through and the fellow just sort of go poop, <laughs> finishes it off for you. Um, and you are inside. I'm just going to sort of place you guys here. Oops. Because uh, uh, you're coming in sort of down over here. Okay. All right. Uh, Gildy is in. Uh, who wants to go next? I also have my Boots of Expeditious Retreat. Activated, yep. Yep. Uh, so, let's see here. Where's this be? Three. So this would be about the same time that Talon is drinking the potion. Okay. And I'm just looking at the map. <laughs> uh, I yes. I keep misreading Talon rolls to be stealthy as Talon rolls to be steamy. <laughs> <laughs> oh well then. All right, so at a twenty-seven. Um, <laughs> He's I mean, invisibly I, I, steamy, I of course. <laughs> I I also want to kind of enter into the map where uh, where Gildy has entered. Yep. Uh, give me an athletics check with your new improved bonus strength. I will do. Right. <laughs> bonus strength. that on here? Where is it? Athletics. athletics yeah. There's athletics. Yeah, I have a plus eight now. Yay! All right. Can you do it with a plus eight? 
Can I? Watch me fail. Do it. Do it. 23, oh, you are in. That is not bad. All right. Um, I'm going to do some quick things here. All right. So, uh, yeah, one of the troops uh, makes it inside, but the other one is sort of still struggling to get in. Oops. <laughs> I'm taking additional people with me. Stop that. All right. Um, uh, it, who wants to go next? Is it the cougars or the badgers that made it in? <laughs> we'll say it's, the, well. say it's the badgers. All right. <laughs> and the cougars are like, no, let us in, let us in. <laughs> um, Wisp is struggling and will ask for a little bit of uh, help from the, the Felidar. Um, probably still not going to make it with that, though. Uh, athletics, yeah, no. So, uh, Wisp did not make it in. Um, Wisp's little face spirit uh, also did not make it in. Um, so they're sort of going to be waiting <clears throat> for round two. Uh, who's next? Or will dry. Yep. Twenty-one. Oh yeah, yeah. Torus easily with twenty-one. Um, Jacob is pretty much all that's left, other than Leon. You gonna give it a shot? Ten. Uh, you make it. Um, that is enough with the Felidar's help to push you through. Um, <laughs> and then the Felidar itself. Does, does Edgar have to roll? Uh, no, Edgar can just come with you. That's fine. Um, athletics. Alphonse will probably also have to be pushed in by the Felidar before the Felidar comes in. Yeah, he'll, he'll sort of try and sort of go okay. with the Felidar. Uh, ironically enough, the Felidar failed his athletics check. <laughs> Used up all of his strength. <laughs> uh, not to be the last one in, but I'm going to use the Stone of Recall to appear five feet, like to appear right beside Talon. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. And yes, I will assume that otherwise. And fine. lands in the tree. With you, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's how it's going to work. Everybody who's inside now gets <clears throat> around as a surprise round. Uh, anybody who's not inside, unfortunately, needs to Still trying to make it inside. All right, so uh, Talon, uh, we will sort of go in initiative order, which means uh, technically Gildy goes first. So the Drift Globe will activate in a moment, but uh, now we'll start with initiative. Okay, so the Drift Globe is not yet activated. You Gildy's... could uh, delay until that if you wanted to. Mm. But you, however, get bonuses when you are not seen, so you may want to go now. Yeah, Gildy's still invisible, and I'm just checking what her um, um, dark vision is. Right. Uh, I think it's 60? It is 60. So where's my measury thing, and where's Gildy? All right. Oh, 60 is pretty far. Yeah. Okay. What was the plan? We were just going to surprise attack. Oh, focused on the master and the soldiers. And the soldiers will try to fend off the other minions. Actually, keeping track of my notes. Trying to follow the plan, Leon. Trying to follow the plan. <laughs> well, um, and that's an adjusted plan for my original plan. But yes. True. That's OK. OK. Um, you have a rough line of sight on the master if you wanted to just start off attacking them. Yeah. Take all of your four attacks on them. It's, yeah. Um. Okay, I might as well. All right. uh, added D4 to the attack roll because of the potion of boldness. Ah, yep. All right. And so. Rob, what are these green guys like this dude right here? Uh, which one? That one. Oh, that's a wizard. The okay. little corrupted wizard. So these two are wizards. Yep. This is the main guy. Yep. And this is the shadow render. 
and this is another bad creature. Yes. Yet to be really identified? Uh, you've seen them before. It's a shadow. Right, right. Okay. Shadow. Okay. Cool. Okay, that was Gildy's first bow at the master. A 20, huh? <laughs> Sorry, but a 20, no, 20 hits. <laughs> okay. And then that's the damage. Ah. And oh, then... okay. Damage is four. Yeah. Oh, all right. I actually did this for a reason, so I could. Don't you don't you get additional damage on your first attack when you're? Yeah, don't you, you do? I believe. Yeah, because I'm manually instead of using my. Uh, oh, an extra D8. Yep. Thank you for reminding me about that. Yep. Another four. Nice. So a total of eight on the first one. Okay. okay, and then okay, that's the first one. This is the second one. Twelve, unfortunately, misses. Okay. This is. Does the, the potion of boldness add to all attacks? D four to every attack roll and saving throw. Wow. Well, but wouldn't you also have advantage because you're attacking? You're an unseen attack. Uh, technically, yes. Um, if you are attacking from hidden, you generally have advantage. So you can roll that one again if you like. Woohoo! Sure. Go. Oh. Fourteen misses. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So how many oh. is that? That's two attacks so that's far. That's two attacks so far. Uh, three to one. Then... No, three to three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then okay, I got two more. Of all of your rolls so far, including damage rolls, you've had. Three ones and three threes. Yep. <laughs> so don't forget your next two attacks have a, both have advantage. Yeah, I'm just gonna change that so that it has advantage. Cool. Nice. Twenty-five yeah. definitely hits. Uh huh. Which means I need this. Nice. Eleven. Yeah. Okay. And one more. <clears throat> Sixteen hits. All right. That's all of them. Yeah, that was a good first round. That that took out a chunk of their hit points. They are very upset. Uh, the one creature would go next, but they are still surprised. Jacob. Um, let's uh, let's step forward just a bit, and I'm going to hold back Edgar this round instead. The Rubik's Cube will fly into the air and do a nice big fairy fire. Nice. And I'm going to hit. This is the 20-foot square that I'll hit. Yeah, so it gets all of them. Uh, all right, so that's the dexterity save. Yep. All right, Shadow Render fails. Vampire fails. No, 18. Wow, he's got a high dex save. It's dex, right? Yeah, this is dex. Yep. Uh, wizard... Fails, Mother Wizard fails. So, Vampire succeeded, but all the rest of them are uh, fairy fired. We'll put a nice bright yellow marker on them. Excellent. There we go. Those guys are fairy fired. You have an advantage to hit them. Um, anything else? I believe that's it. Torok. Holding for light. Holding for light. All right. Uh, talent. Light. Light. <laughs> Zizaj. Wow. There are some sparkly bits. <laughs> yes, there are sparkly bits. Uh, all right. So that light, uh, where are you placing it? You can, do you place it, it just, it's right where you are? Um, so depending on, I mean, because I'm assuming when I take it out, it will be visible as soon as it leaves me. So yeah. I kind of have to have it sort of move in its turn. I don't know how far it moves in a turn. Uh, I think it otherwise follows you around if you don't aren't commanding it. Um, yeah, but so it can, it yeah. within twenty feet of me. I'm yeah, so you can have it somewhere around twenty feet of you. Uh, within sixty feet of me. Oh, sixty feet. All Sweet. right. So All where right. would you like well, it? Uh, I guess, given the way we are fighting, um, I will put it right here. All right. Give me a sec, and I will put. Uh, so do that again. 
All right. All right. There we go. That's where the. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, because of uh, daylight, did you yep. want to put like a ring around that? Yep. That that's here's 60 foot. That's what I'm about to reveal a whole bunch of areas. Uh, reveal. So, um, right about there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll say that's a good start for now. Light has popped up. Um, Talon, you are hasted. You can take another action if you like. Uh, now, to be clear, or to be, you know, so activating a drift lobe isn't typically an attack action. So would I still remain invisible then? Uh, correct. Because like, I mean, it was intended as a, you know, yep. combat-ish kind of thing, but it wasn't really a, OK. Um, yeah, then uh, Talon's going to go into the really stupid spot of here. Run up and fight him. Oh. <laughs> wow, Talon. Because if he decides to move, I want to have that attack him up again. Uh, true. All right. But, but you're smart. Why are you doing this, Talon? Well, well that is we'll really see. We'll see. Plan. The last this works. Uh, take your uh, attacks. Okay, you uh, advantage. All right. Uh, assuming you're attacking the master. Otherwise, all of them have advantage because there's fairy fire on the other fellow. Um. Yes, I will attack the the vampire dude. Yep. Uh. All right. So. Good thing it's got advantage. The damage will be eight regardless. Man! Oh! All right, first one's a miss. Good job, me. Is he wearing some kind of armor? Uh, nope. Oh, because <laughs> I was it's like, he punches him right in the armor. Nope, he just punches him in the shoulder. <laughs> just... The guy's just like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? You don't even know I'm here, and I still can't even hear you. <laughs> oh. All right, nice. next one does not have advantage. Hooray! Oh, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> that makes up uh, for it. You and tap, you tap him on the shoulder and punch him in the face. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> That's great. Uh, so damage is with bonuses or without? I never knew. Uh, so that's currently, the seven is one roll with bonus, so roll again without bonus. Uh, seven plus six, 13 damage. Uh, do, do, do. <clears throat> Luckily, your. Ooh. Oh, no, your fists are magical. Yep, so you do full 13 damage. Right. Magic to vampires, magic in the bone. They're magical everywhere. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the next no so comment. Weird. If you haven't seen a previous episode. <laughs> What? Yeah, but oh, now they're not going to want to watch the previous episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right, are you going to use a bonus action to detect more? You don't have to use a key point. You could at least get one more attack if you bonus action. Uh, I w ooh, but I hit him. Does. Um, what's it called? Oh, you the, get stunned? You want to stun him? The stunning attack. Does that work on a vampire? I'm going to try. Um, that's an excellent <laughs> question. Well, assuming the town knows, and he's smart at the moment, yeah. but it would work, he will try. Okay. Either way, the vampire will be stunned if it works. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, he makes his saving throw. Ooh. All right. All right. Uh, your last attack? Um, uh, I will use a key point to, uh, dodge for. Okay. And I, the drift globe, the act, you know, acting that would be an attack, and then punch, and then the most attack. Right. All right. Okay. Um, so, that is Talon. Uh, Torok. All right. So... Torok is going to 
now that he can see what's going on, try to figure out where to go. Um, I think he's going to have to deal with the wizard, because he can't move on his turn far enough not to have to deal with the wizard. At least in the first round. So Tor can move to here. And Tor is going to attack the wizard. All right. Uh, Poor wizard. Yes, mainly because it's going to be very unfortunate to try to do an attack that would also involve poor tail and bean. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Because breathing fire, uh, breathing lightning would be really unfortunate at this point. Okay, so first attack against the wizard. Oh, the wizard, it's advantage. You have advantage. Yes. It's not a 60 foot sphere, but. We'll say that's roughly the Drift Globes area for now. And just That's not centered on Drift Globe, though. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> so AC 20 for 11 damage? Uh, yep, that is an ex-wizard. <laughs> oh. The wizard only had 11 hit points? Maybe that one did. <laughs> oh. As we cut through, I obviously call out, this is going easier than expected. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> you have um, other attacks. I do, and I'm trying to figure out the best. <laughs> That's going to actually. You can get to the, the Shadow Master. You have, I think, you have a move of 40, right? Right, but I think that took me to five, ten, fifty. It's five per square, right? Yeah. I mean, oh. you're going around the tree, but. <laughs> no, okay. I can continue my move then. I will. Select and move. Uh, I can make it to here. Yep. All right. So you were running and sort of took a swipe and took that wizard out and then kept running and got to the master. All right, I will also attack with the the axe. Roll well. Mm. Nope. Nope. Master has an aura of you're just not going to roll well around me. Um, <laughs> Before right. that, he should have thought if he wanted to use his inspiration on that one. Oh, uh -oh crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, well. You can save it for another time. Yep. yep. Uh, Leon. Okay. I take it that my dudes can all just come out on their own? Sure. Yep. Yay. Okay. Then I will send them. Uh, they'll just kind of come flocking out. Um, they will target this batch of folks over here. Okay. And so four sleep spells. Roll a whole bunch of dice. Yep. Yep. So I have uh, it set and up. And what's the targeted area of effect? Like how much of an area does it usually cover? Um, so the first does 26 hit points worth. Okay. Uh, no, two of them are asleep. Where's the little sleepy icon? That looks like a sleepy icon. Uh, it's within 20 feet of a point you choose within 90 feet of you. Okay. So uh, two of them are asleep. Okay. So that's one. Yep. Another one hits for 22. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much two of them again. Another one for 23. Uh, I will say that's these guys over here. Um, one moment. Huh. So that's six people asleep now, right? Uh, two, 
Uh, it's going to do the people with the fewest two points first, though, so that's okay. Yep. Uh, which means those two. So this guy's asleep. Well, and definitely, like, this guy's asleep. we'd want them to be targeting this dude if they can, like this guy. And, oh, the closer one? And somebody. Yeah, you're yeah. not really going to get anybody else if you do him, though. Hmm. Well, okay. I suppose, yeah. All right. Um, so that's been three. So then yep. the fourth one. So that's pretty much everybody we can see over here. Uh, you well, there's uh, you can see a bit of a wizard right at the edge of the sort of um, range down here. You can True. potentially assume that there's going to be more down there. Sure. Put that wizard to sleep. Twenty six. Twenty six. That'll put two wizards to sleep. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Dust methods for the win. Uh, just a reminder, I have a mirror image up, so there's okay four of me all in my same square though um, <laughs> so that was all of my dudes what do you do i definitely congratulate them on their fantastic work um and they are basically going to as they come out they're going to try and so they can pop out hit all there and then they will basically head over to kind of this area over here okay is where they will all have congregated because i have a plan for them for next round um oh that's what i was gonna do uh, uh, uh. on the board for them um so this dude suddenly he is standing on a very slippery ground as i cast grease under his feet i'm just putting a little marker on roughly where your dust methods are all right uh sorry who uh who's slippery uh the shadow render shadow render okay yep. he's um that's a dc 16 deck save or he falls down yeah. He's not entirely corporeal, but he still falls down. <laughs> so he is prone. <laughs> cool. All right. Anything else? Um, it's amazing how smooth this is going, everyone. Don't you agree? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Shut up. <Ooh. laughs> Um, yeah, I think I'm going to move over here. All right. Uh, Mint, you're next. Okay, and um, I've got my expeditious retreat on, so I can go up to 60. I do have to get around the trees, obviously. Yeah, but, I just... but you can get to anybody in there just fine. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of figured. And I, I saw Talon and Torok kind of take off, and from what I remember, the plan, because I'm one of the strong ones, I think I'm supposed to join them. Oh. Uh, unless not... I am mistaken. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Mint was Mint trying Mint to pay attention decided. to the plan. All right. Was was that right or I said, you, you could do whatever, whatever you want to do now? Okay. That's that's what I'm doing. Oh perfect. Yeah, if you go there, because then you oh, I guess you already have advantage to attack him, but he's also fallen down, so that's true. Multiple yep. advantages to attack the Shadow Render. So so many advantages. But I wanted to get up close to him if I could, because yep. then I uh, I can use my melee weapon, which gives me the use of my strength bonus. Yes. Uh, whereas if I shoot at him, no strength bonus. All right. So Just sort of push the bullets really hard. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. <laughs> OK, so rapier to hit with advantage uh, with strength bonus. OK, and. Um, I think I can do this four times this round without even getting into my inspiration. Uh, if you're using uh, your full, um, not second wind, but uh, action surge, yes, you can attack four times. Okay. And then with second wind, it's... No, second wind is the what heals you. I got the right. that is that is what heals me. Okay. There was... Yeah, action surge gives me four. Okay. Yep. All Wait, right. When I, when I get three per turn now that I'm this level? No. No, I do not. Okay, cool. Just good to check how many times I'm rolling. All right, 27 hits. 28 hits. Last and one. 24 hits. Nice. And then extra damage. Oh no, two, two, two criticals, cheese. All right, so roll two extra um, dice of damage. Yes. Um, wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Jacob, okay. shush. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, that was only two rolls because you have advantage. No, I have my macro. Oh, you've got, okay, you've got about the, okay, yeah. so uh, 15 yeah. 
plus 24 is 39 so far. Okay, so you still need me to roll on two extra damages? Yeah, yeah. 39 okay. damage. Okay. Yay. So it's 1d8 plus five for my damage. Uh, just 1d8, so just an extra 2d8. An extra 2d8, okay, thank you. Two criticals, jeez. Well, he was glowing and also had fallen down. So. Yes. Out of any right. time to get two criticals, it kind of makes sense. Yes. <laughs> so a total of 49 damage to him that round. Nice. Well done. Okay. Uh, Should we start I'll... breaking out the drinks? <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm pretty sure you've, you've won already. Uh, okay. Thanks, us. I really want to punch Jacob right now. <laughs> But, so. but there's soldiers in between me and him, so I can't. Mage hand? I just <laughs> punch him with mage hand. All right, uh, Alphonse and the Philidor are inside. Uh, who is next? Uh, Wisp. Okay. <laughs> um, give me a moment. Wisp comes in and is like, well, I guess you guys have this under control and, <laughs> and leaves. <laughs> Wisps will use a spell to get inside. <laughs> All right, there we go. So it'll pop in like uh, somewhere over here ish. All right, uh, and then the little yeah. uh, fee person is going roughly with them. Uh, how far can they move? 40 feet, yes. Okay, so they will zip down here. Um, I'll put them there for... Uh, they've got a little uh, short sword. Um, there's also, like, it's it's extremely cute, but you don't want to sort of smile and say they're cute because they're sort of dressed in armor and they've got a sword, but they also have, like, little tiny bits of, like, smoke filtering out their ears at the moment. Like, they're really upset. Um, yeah. And that'll do. Whoa. Why can I not? Oh, okay. Okay, so five. Should know this. All right. Uh, they actually miss, um, even with advantage. All right. Uh, oh, uh, but they could have teleported there. That doesn't matter. Okay, that's them. Uh, do, 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 do. Next in line is these guys. Do they get through this round? Yes, they do. Okay, so these guys managed to push through. Everybody's inside. Put these guys just down here. All right. Back to the top. Did I get everybody? I think so. I think so. All right, guilty. And now other people can react and do things as well. Boom. Yeah. Uh, does guilty still have a clear shot to the the leader? Guys are sort of fanning out a little bit. Um. Yes. Uh, there's some like mild cover because of your allies. Um, but, uh, okay. Oh, I can't grab her. Oh, no. One sec. Let me double check that you're, yeah, you are in control. You should be able to. That's weird. Oh, I think maybe I'm just. Are you using the curse top left? No, I'm not. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was still on measuring. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, so Gildy is, uh, but you said the shot's pretty clear. So she is going to shoot. All right. Wow, okay. This is her full turn, so it's three attacks, and I included the, the d4 from the Potion of Boldness. Oh, okay. I'm like, where's the natural one in there? But no, it's the 14. It was the one on a D4. Okay. The so D you've... one of the D4s was the natural one. <laughs> uh, but you still hit critic. 
Oh no, you didn't hit critically. It's the four that was also in. <laughs> yes. Okay, so no, no crits. Are, okay, it's the four and the one that's really messing things up. But yes, it's still 10, 11, and eight uh, damage because all of those hit. Uh, that's nice. twenty nine. Um. Yeah. Yep. Still. Yeah. All right. Twenty nine damage. Sweet. And I don't think she's going to do anything else. OK. Um, and this guy over here, he's like, hey, I notice things are happening now. I'm going to take some action. Um, OK. Who's within 60 feet of him? Do, 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 do. Yep, one, two, three. Oh, that guy, that guy. Oh, yep. Oh, no, I think everybody else is out of range. All right, uh, Mint, Talon, Torok, and a bunch of other people. Uh, if you could give me a dexterity throw. OK. Is there anyone that has low dexterity? It's worried about this. I'm just rolling and seeing what happens. Remember, you can use inspiration on saving throws too. That is fair. I didn't. Call oh, it I again. get I get advantage automatic saving throws on all saving throws on my dex saving throws. Okay, actually, that is a good point. I think there's a few throws I get, uh, but I think I wrote down which ones they were. I think okay. it's not these ones. Okay. Yeah, I think it's intelligence, dexterity, or intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Yeah, those are what I get as a gnome, I believe. Yeah. Is there a reason Talon rolled Whoa. twice, or was it just for fun? Because through haste, I have an advantage on dexterity throws currently. Ah, so right. I rolled. Twice. I, I think uh, I will use my inspiration on this one to okay. roll again, because I don't think eleven's going to do it. Well, Talon you know, is definitely good with a twenty-four. I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> There's the bar. I should probably reroll oh, my All right. was low. Huh. Oh, 11 was the best one you had? Yeah. OK. And OK. Mint. I will it's take the 15. Seven and, my and a 15. Is. OK. So Torak and Mint still take damage. Oh, no. And our inspiration is wasted. <laughs> it was DC Aww. was 16. All right. So um, oh, that was exceedingly lucky. Uh, you both take seven points of necrotic damage. Seven what's this, necrotic. What's, yep. the guy, what's he doing? Uh, lashing shadows. He sort of tendrils sort of lash out okay. from him and sort of slap people around. Is he moving in at all? Uh, no, he does not particularly like the uh, sunlight. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Luckily, that was not an attack. Digital attack rolls. Um, hmm. so yes, he is otherwise staying close to the sphere because it's what he's guarding. He can't actually flee from it, um, but he's not going to get any closer to that orb of light, but he's going to try and do that. Um, that's his turn. Jacob. Um, so I plant, in, I, I'm going to use my inspiration on my attack this roll. Nice. Um, and I hold up the cube. And an effect that no one has seen yet, it kind of changes, and out of the top pops a little character that looks a lot like Gildy, a little miniature Gildy. It pulls out a little miniature arrow, pulls back, and fires off an acid bolt at the... Uh, nice. At the, uh, <laughs> <thank you. laughs> nice. And, so that'll be with advantage. That's both creepy and adorable in it. <laughs> oh, really? He's got a Gildy in the box. I rolled a five and a one. What a what a dramatic attack! That was horrible. Oh. Well, it looked cool. So yes, unfortunately it misses, uh, but it still does some splash damage, does it not? Yeah, it does half the first the first one. Yeah. So seven damage. So Edgar's not inspired. Oh, uh, Edgar's not inspired, but I'll use my bonus action to have Edgar fire a full force bolt at the dude. Okay. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that uh, does not hit, unfortunately. Yeah, fight's going really. It's well going really well, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, uh, I just, I don't want to take all the glory. Just kind of throwing a few things out there. 
It's just trying to distract. <laughs> It was, it was between that and creating doves, and I thought, well, I might as well try. <laughs> Next round, I'll go doves. Doves. Torok. Um, can Torok, without creating an attack of opportunity, pivot around him to create advantage? Pivot around him? So oh, if I... Um, so if I... I'm going to leave the threatened square. Yeah, and... so if you want to just walk around him, you can do that, yes. Yes, so I can walk around, and then I'll get advantage of my attacks, because we'll have him pincered. Oh, I see. You want to go up uh, here? Yeah. Yeah. And if anyone's standing where the... <laughs> I've been censored. Oh. I should also mention if anyone's rolling any of your magic numbers, there are a number of uh, suggestions in chat. Oh, are they? Yeah. Okay. Just, uh, just, uh, just a heads up. Cool. I should actually be checking for the magic number. Uh, nope. 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 <laughs> okay. Tor is going to use the axe. First attack. There. Yeah. 24 for nine damage. All right. Um, yeah, that hits. He is not happy. And second attack. All right. Um, uh, give me a suggestion for the magic number. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, seven damage. The first one I looked at, the bunny gives them a surprise gift. The bunny gives them a surprise gift. Um, <laughs> sure. Uh, give me a moment and I will find out Buddy drops that a is. grenade into the pants of the vampire. <laughs> That's a surprise. Actually, I'll give you three and then you can choose. I'll choose my sure. three favorite ones. So that was All that right. one. Number two, somehow causes a tree to fall over and lands on a couple of bad guys. Mm. Uh, lastly, we'll say the character's attack misses whatever it was aimed at, but does damage to a different bad guy or the black orb that powers the door. Uh, all right. Um... I'll either go with or gives a gift, right? Yes. When he gives them a surprise. Doesn't have to be useful. <laughs> You're <I> mean... help helping. <laughs> um <laughs> could be a gold star because we're doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Um, Torok. Um, on uh, on D and D Beyond, look up the Fire Shield spell. Uh, you and now have that. So essentially, if anybody you are uh, resistant to either cold or um, yeah, cold or fire damage, uh, your choice. Uh, and then if anybody hits you, uh, they will take. 2d8 cold or fire damage, whichever again was the one you chose. I think just because it's Tor, it would be fire. Okay. So you are resistant to fire and we'll do 2d8 fire damage if anybody hits you. Good I'm job, Magical Bunny. Thing. You step into the glow, the 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 yes, globe of the daylight, and uh, sort of this aura surrounds you and then sort of just starts, yeah, burning. Well done. All right. Uh, oh, they go. All right. Uh, what are they going to do? Yummy, 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 yummy. They don't want to get into the sunlight, but they don't really have any ranged attacks, but their boss is being attacked, so they're sort of compelled to attack anyway. How fast can they move? 30 feet. Can't really get anywhere. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, we'll go. Use a double move to go there and otherwise create a new target. This looks like the vampire's minion. And that was their move. Talon. Uh, all right. Does, does moving the drift globe count as an action if I don't want it to basically effectively burn Tor? <laughs> um. <laughs> 
Um, if you're just going to move it like one square, I will say probably not. If you're like planning on moving it significantly, then yeah. Yeah, no, it's just kind of one square to, well, the map's right, just so it is not on the same square as Tor. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, I get three actions. First action, I'm going to cast a spell. And all I'm right. Blur on myself. Nice. Second two actions will be punchy punch at the vampire. <laughs> yep. All right. Blur blurred. Punch. And now you get advantage because um, you're flanking with. Uh, oh, that's true. All right. Well, it'll be four damage regardless, which is disappointing, but maybe it's critical. No, it's not. All right. All right. Four damage. And the next one. Yay! For eight damage. Or no, I guess that one first. No. I guess it would be eight damage because it was the first damage roll. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I mean, you could always just have it be whichever attack hits. That's the damage you go with. That makes sense. No, I think I actually I might have created a. Um, what do you call it? A thingy. Oh, I, did, I did create a punch with advantage, but I forgot to use it because it's scrolled That's to the right. Okay. He is looking quite hurt considering how uh, many hit points he had initially. Uh, you could uh, take a bonus action to take another hit if you want. Um, oh, uh, you could also try and stun him if you want. Uh, I guess stun him with that attack, because why not? Yep, he's stunned. Sweet. Is he immune to anything that... Oh, uh, he's going to use a legendary resistance to just, yeah, make that safe. Yeah, no, not stunned. Fine. He rolled the two, so he would have been stunned, but he shrugs it off. Yeah, fair enough. Might be good attack. Um, oh, right, that's what I forgot. Oh, ho. Uh -huh. but he hasn't actually gone yet, so we'll see if he survives to his turn. But of course, <laughs> I'm standing beside him with flame shield. This might have been a good choice, next row vampire. <laughs> yes. You go up like paper, I hear. Uh, yeah, and you could uh, potentially take in that last deck if you wanted to, Talon. Well, why not? While I'm all right, while I've got him. All right, scroll, punch advantage. Oh, yep. well. <laughs> Four damage. Not doing a lot of damage, but you're hitting. So, hey, that's something. And you're yeah. doing full damage. I, I'm no mint, but that's fine. <laughs> no one's mint, but mint. OK, uh, Leon. OK, so. I'm interested in having my methods basically end up here. Okay. But like in the air, and they will then breathe their uh, blinding breath okay. to target this guy and this guy. Basically, right. so they're like over top of Mint, so ah, they're just okay. kind of, you know what I mean, blowing down to hit the two of them because it's a 15 foot cone, but they just position themselves up so they can blow down over top of her and hit the two of them. Um, and those two individuals have to make four uh, DC 10 dexterity saving throws. Why can I not move this again? And, oh. But there's four of them. All right, so... Uh, if, they, if they fail, they're blinded for one minute, but then at the uh, end of each of their turns, they can make another save and not be blinded. Sorry, dex or wisdom? Sorry? Uh, dexterity. DC 10, dexterity, sorry. four saving throws each. Okay, that guy fails three times. Yay! And the other one... Dexterity. Oh, that guy does fail once. Cool. And they're yeah. both blind. So they're both blinded for one minute, but at the end of their turn, they get to make another saving throw to so recover. I'm sure, they're not actually immune to the being blinded. Okay. Hopefully not. Um, blinded. What's a good blinded icon? I love my dust methods. They're awesome. <laughs> Um, they're annoying, but awesome. Uh, and the the vampire's looking really hurt, yeah? Yes. We'll say that's a blinded icon. I have no idea. Uh, this is so... This is so... This is such a tough call. Um... Uh, uh, I 
All right. I could move them, and now I can't. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stay where I am and I'm going to shoot him with my longbow. Okay. Oh, because he might kill him. <laughs> yeah. And even though he's undead, I'm still like, well. Uh, Boom. Nice. But I hit him for 11 piercing damage with a 11 magical. 11 piercing damage. And that's a magical, a magical bow. Piece. Yeah, that. That uh, definitely does damage. <laughs> yeah, he's looking quite hurt. <laughs> Not having a good day. Mint. And tabulous. Okay. So now we um, we don't have advantage right now, though, do we? And you do against the one with the yellow dot. Yeah. yeah. The yellow dot has advantage twice because he still hasn't gotten up because he actually hasn't had a turn yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. And the, the vampire is kind of in front of me too now? Uh, the, the vampire's minion, yeah. Yeah, but it, yeah. Uh, it I don't have advantage on it. So I might as well keep... Uh, you guy. might. Hold on. Because um, he's blinded. It is blinded. Um, ah. Oh, right. I've got that right here. Yep. Attack Conditions. rolls. Yeah. Attack rolls have advantage. Yep. Oh, fantastic. So you have advantage on both of them. There you go. But he also they both also have disadvantage to attack you because yeah. they have... Because they're blinded. So you could theoretically like go and attack the vampire and kill him. They would get attacks of opportunity, but both at disadvantage. I think I'm still going to go with the the rapier. Okay. What? That was really strange. What was Apparently, strange? What now I can't select the my little icon for the dust methods anymore. Oh, it's weird. Yay, my dust methods have evaded you. <laughs> <laughs> Very strange. No one can control my dust methods but me. What? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So who are you attacking? Uh, I'm going to attack the Lich. I think I only get two attacks now. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's always the other option of me being able to do my two um, my two weapon fighting with a dagger or something in my other hand. If you like, yeah. Yeah. So I will do that perhaps. Yeah. I will use my rapier and short sword because while I have strength, I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I will attack him twice with that. Whoa. Oh. Well, that's fun. Mint of the critical. All right. So that's um, D8 and a D6. Uh, do all of those actually hit? Yes. Um, no, it's just the d6, not the d8. Yeah. Okay. So I will roll a d6. Yeah. Boop. Oh, nice. All right. So let me add this up. Uh, 8, 12, uh, 20, plus 11, 31. All right. I just love this guy fell down, and then this gnome just comes over and just starts wailing on him. Massive bulking shadow creature. Yep. All right. this and this and this. He's, he's, he's glowing. He falls down. He gets blinded by sand or by dust, and then he's just getting poked and stabbed, and he's okay. having a good day. Mm. Uh, so uh, the Felidar sprouts wings, Yay. Um, and uh, it's gonna come over here and take care of that guy. It doesn't even really need to roll. I'll roll for fun just to see how it, well it does. Um, yeah, 
yeah, no, that, that little guy's just going to be dead. Um, <laughs> and uh, what would Elfons like to do? Well, the fellow that kills this guy. Um, Alphonse can see the the um, sphere, right? The shadow sphere thing. Yep. Okay. Alphonse is going to target that with erupting earth. Okay. So the right. range is 120 feet. Yep. To the point you can see, fountain of churned earth and stone erupts in a 20 foot cube centered on that point. 20 foot cube centered nice. on that point. All right, so it's going to get yeah, a bunch of people. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Tony, do, 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 do. Each creature in that area must make a dex saving throw. Uh, and if they fail, they take, what is he going to cast at? He's going to cast it at fourth level. So it's 412. And I will roll that. Okay, dex saving throw. So the horror, the horror, uh, he fails. Um, and this guy, he fails. And I'm just going to say all the other guys fail. Okay, so how much damage? Uh, 4, D, 12, 22. 22. Classify that as magical damage just because. Yep. Um, also, well. that's all difficult terrain now. <laughs> uh, he only has uh, damage resistance is blah, blah, blah. Do, 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 do. Well, that was bludgeoning from a magical attack. So, yep, he's dead. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to. Delete a bunch of these guys. So who's dead? Somebody you couldn't see. Oh, okay. Hadn't <laughs> gone yet. <laughs> All right. Some, some important guy lurking in the shadows, <laughs> like now I can finally go. <laughs> well, some important guy probably wouldn't have you know twenty or two hit points or less. But yes. Um, and the sphere itself. Oh, oh. Okay, uh, I'm going to make a, actually a roll for the sphere because it's sort of semi-magical and it fails. Um, not that it can go anywhere anyway. The sphere, um, so you see the like this earth sort of erupt up and all these storms go flying and sort of rough earth and the sphere is is there and you can see it. But there's You can actually sort of see like significant cracks in it and like shadow essence starting to leak out of it. It does not look well at all. Yay. Nice. All right, so I need to... I didn't give the sphere hit points, but there we go. Okay, the sphere's taking 22 hit points. Okay. <laughs> um, and that's Felidar. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I think that's it. He's not going to do anything else. All right. Yeah, so uh, out from the shadows runs a whole bunch of... Uh, these sort of little minion guys. No, stay away, minions. I can't get that far, but they're sort of straight ahead in this direction. Um, this one is going to attack them. There's some fighting going on over there. All right. Uh, little fate person, what are you going to do? I'm going to try and attack the vampire again. See if she can finally kill the vampire. <laughs> Uh, again, uh, she sort of gets really angry and these little bits of smoke comes out her ears. <laughs> there we go. With her one attack doing... Um, as 11 damage with her little short sword. Not quite killing the guy, but he's he's looking pretty rough. Um, yeah. And what does Wisp do? Wisp is concentrating, but some other spells they can. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Um, sure.
This guy hasn't been attacked yet. Oh, good. Uh, they take... Seven points of psychic damage. Gotta love birds. Okay. Ah, now the shadows get to move. <laughs> How far do the shadows move? Uh, 40 feet. Okay. Uh, I think he's just going to double move. Or no, 40 gets him there. Okay, and uh, yeah, that guy's going to die. Um, anybody who knows anything about shadows, and uh, since several of you have fought them before, I'm just going to give this to you. Uh, this particular guy, I'm going to put a mark on him. Um, he will rise as a shadow within 1d4 hours. Uh oh. Uh, that's the sleep marker. Let's put that one. There we go. Anybody killed by a shadow will rise as a shadow within 1d4 hours. All right. Um, there's the other shadow down here. Uh, Mint. Hello. You are being attacked by a shadow. You are being missed by a shadow. Yay. Uh, yeah, he misses you. Uh, oh, <laughs> wait a minute. He had disadvantage on that attack roll. No, he still missed you. <laughs> All right. Uh, and finally, the render gets up <laughs> and falls back down again. So um, it's, a, it's a, if it finishes its turn there. So it's only if it stays there. Oh, okay. Um, it's, it's the first time it enters, and then if it finishes its turn there. Yeah, is it going to stay there? It's got a lot of targets to go with. Oh, we lost somebody. Ivan. And just you're on mute. Jonathan vanished. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. No. Oh, All right. Disappeared. I think Sonya got him, guys. <laughs> like, like our cat has eaten him. <laughs> well, she gets very jealous if anybody else is paying attention to him but her. So I'm wondering if uh, mm. she turned off the feed because he he became an internet star. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know if he's aware that. Oh, oh, okay. You are back, sir. I blamed the cat. Was I wrong in doing that? Yeah, no, it was just something. Just All something? Right. Okay. Uh, 15. Who's it attacking? It's uh, probably thinking it's going to attack Mint. Mint, does a 15 hit you? Um, I am holding my rapier, so no. Remember, it's still blinded. Yeah. Oh, no. I know. Okay. It's attacking with disadvantage, swinging cool. wildly. Yeah. Um, so my, my armor class is regular 16, but while I'm holding my rapier, it's even higher, so it does not hit that. Okay. <laughs> uh, it misses twice. Um, still blinded, still fairy fired. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Does, it, does it end its turn there? Uh, yeah, it doesn't move. And it has to make a deck save or else Yeah, it fell down. down. <laughs> <laughs> so it stands up, flails around, falls back over. Well, actually, uh, well, actually it depended. Was it trying to wield a melee attack on me or another type of attack? Melee attack. Okay, so then, yeah, it would have been a 19. Okay. Awesome. What is the How vampire? has no one previously beat these people? This is like a cakewalk. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, okay. I uh, told Jody chicken. we could do this. <laughs> oh no, now even Leon's getting in on it. Guys, <laughs> it's not over until it's over. <laughs> Gilly shows, we're not done yet. <laughs> oh no, I know. I'm 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 not happy that people have not killed the vampire, but <laughs> you know. um 
Uh, Might die now. How far can he move? It's not quite enough to get him away. Yay, move. not far enough. Seeing what other special attacks and things he have. He does not automatically regenerate because he's in sunlight. Yay. That's good. That's good. Has he taken his damage yet? Um, he does not. Uh, takes. Oh, yeah. That's right of his turn. <laughs> <laughs> Is the sunlight going to kill him? Yeah. <laughs> <That's the whole> <laughs> <laughs> there I am trying to figure out what he's doing. Nope. Sunlight kills him. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. It's like, aha, I finally get to go. Oh, wait, sunlight. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and he pretty much turns to dust, I believe, because he should turn to mist, but if he's in sunlight, he is destroyed instead. Nice. You have killed the Shadow Master. <laughs> That's awesome. I really kind of enjoy that it was the sunlight that killed him. <laughs> Just as he's about to go, he's like, ah, now you're in for it. <laughs> I am Professor Frenabulous, and I... <laughs> <laughs> um, and we've gone really late without taking a break so far so we're going to take a break on that uh, awesome <laughs> note of having killed the Shadow Master and we'll see what happens once we come back uh, on the second half of our exciting episode of the next level <laughs> see you in a moment Yay. hello and welcome back to the next level so we just had our big bad die, and of course, he has to utter some last words as the sunlight is eating away at him. So uh, as the sunlight sort of deteriorates his form and he's starting to disintegrate, uh, what you hear him say is simply, she rises. And there you go, he dies. And in the uh, pile of ash that sort of, uh, uh, it's created where, where he falls. There's this little ring, actually it seems like brightly colored, um, that seems to have uh, fallen uh, off of him as well. Uh, I will describe it now, somebody can pick it up later, but yes, it's very sort of um, uh, sort of a white gold or sort of platinum uh, ring with uh, small gems sort of studded around it in the color of uh, a rainbow. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, all, sort of all the way around it. Not quite sure what a vampire was doing with it, but there it is now. Uh, thank you for that suggestion, uh, Nico Vallis. We will uh, be using the rainbow ring and see what it does later on, if it does anything at all. Fun little thing. Okay. Um, and continuing on. Um, uh, Got to skip over there stuff because that's not super important right now. Um, Gildy, what would you like to do? The Shadow Master has died. There are still some threats around that globe is slowly sort of cracking and mm -hmm. not look to be doing well. Um, let's see. I think that Gildy seeing that um, I think she will shoot at the um, the big guy, the the that's the okay. render, right? Yeah. Might need to adjust where you are a little bit just to get a better uh, shot, but yeah. Now, do you mean the big guy near the globe, or do you mean the big guy that's fighting Minuset? The big guy that's fighting Minuset. Because hmm. he's, he's prone. That's true. You have a disadvantage to hit him. Before. Well, but he's also glowing, so you'd only have a normal chance yeah. to attack. <laughs> or, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you could also attack the big guy near the globe, or the globe. <laughs> So many options. Well, see, okay, so Tor and um, Talon and Mint, they're all there, and so Gildy's not too worried about that. So I think Gildy is going to uh, follow Alphonse's lead, and I think that she is going to shoot. She's shoot going to sphere. shoot at the sphere. Okay. Um, Roll to hit the sphere. Oh, okay. Uh, the 13 misses. The 21 hits. 
and the 19 hits, but the 21 also destroys it. Yay! So. Pew, pew. The sphere is gone. Uh, the shadows start to sort of dissipate as the dome uh, falls. The um, uh, portals, which uh, you hadn't quite seen yet, uh, but they will sort of disappear as well. And uh, yeah, that sort of sends everybody into a panic. Um, what would you like to do with your other? Oh, that was all three shots throughout the globe. Okay. Yeah, that was all three. Definitely destroyed the globe. Um, yeah, anything else you want to do? You want to move it all? Um, there is no wall behind you anymore, so. Yeah. Right. But you said the 21 destroyed the globe, right? Yep. Could you put the 19 on somebody like this dude? Perhaps. Yeah. Uh, if you will <laughs> let yeah. me do that, because that, that would have been her... Uh, the two normal attacks, and then the 19 is her bonus attack and bonus bonus action. So she will aim that at the ghastly looking thing. Yep. Uh, and yes, 19 will hit it just fine. Uh, so it takes five points of damage. Hooray. Yay. Uh, you're done? Yep. All right, it did not like getting hit, uh, but it did not also get its uh, big special attack back. Um, it does not like sunlight either. Hmm, what is he gonna do? Master's dead. Sphere has been destroyed, and that was his entire pretty much reason for being. Yeah, he's kind of, kind of, kind of go nuts. Um, and even though he's in uh, light, he's going to sort of, yeah, uh, where is he going to end up? Uh, we'll sort of have him go there. And, oops. There we go. Let me face that way. Um, Torok and Talon. <clears throat> well, he gets two attacks anyway. All right, so we'll say there's a bite at Torok. That's probably going to hit uh, with a 20 some odd. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, doing two, 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 three. Oh, wow. <laughs> Come on. Uh, 12 points of damage. And then two claws at Talon. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, which both miss. Hey. As uh, so he's, yeah, just sort of completely going nuts and sort of attacking anything that looks vaguely like an enemy. Yeah. Uh, all right, Jacob. Ah, uh, well, since we're just in mop-up duty, this this yeah. was really easy. <laughs> we're worried about a vampire. I told you, a CR thirteen creature would be fine. Uh, the one, the one that just came in, I will, I will, I'll just do a firebolt at, yeah. and then have Edgar use my bonus action to have Edgar do a force. Fine. Okay, that uh, definitely hits for 23 damage. That was almost the most damage I can do. Yeah. Edgar, he's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Edgar's cute. Look, look, he's firing little bolts. They don't do anything. Okay, um, I'm assuming that's uh, otherwise if you, you're going to stay where you are. Yep. Drock. All right, well, I've got an axe in my hand and saw a new player just got in my face. So yep. taking a couple of swipes at him. <clears throat> 21's going to hit. Yeah. 13 is not. Unless he wants to be in the Oh, no, I didn't. I used it already. Oh, did you? Oh, I missed yeah. it. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. 
Uh, however, you can use time your works. own inspiration if you like. Can I? Don't I need to use an action to inspire myself? Can I inspire myself? Uh, how did we define that? Um, uh, you might. You might need to use well, an action. To give it by touch or something. Let me double check. Yeah, let me check the. We've got it attached to here. Mm -hmm. As a bonus action, you can grant yourself or any creature you touch. Oh, okay. And then you can eight. So yes, you can as a bonus action give yourself an extra d8 if you like. Okay, I will do that. And I have so many charges of that. So yeah. Uh, roll one d8. <laughs> so fifteen damage total. No, that's not damage, that's to hit. Um, oh, an extra D to hit. Oh, never yes. mind. Okay, sorry. Um, so 14. However, 14 does hit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, so that's this guy. Right. Uh, okay. So that's 27 damage done to him. All right. Um, the spawn is blinded. Uh, does he get another save? At the end of his turn. End of his turn. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. we'll do anything else? Oh, did the I still had that flame shield? Did the guy take the damage when he attacked me? He did not. Two d eight fire damage. Thank you for reminding me. All right. By um, respawn, we cannot regenerate. We, in fact, take 20 damage because we're in sunlight. <laughs> Hooray! Um, now, you said the shadows dissipate, but you meant like the regular shadows. You don't mean the creatures. Not the creatures, no. Okay, they're still, yeah. they're still alive and kicking. Yeah, the intense darkness that was always inside the dome dissipates to the regular sort of shadowy forest darkness um yep nope they're just kind of attack with disadvantage but mint all right that's going to be a miss with the claws it's rolling away okay and <laughs> can it actually still attack with spite No, it's just going to attack twice with claws because it cannot attack with its bite until it has somebody grappled. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. But a 13 is not enough. All right. It has missed. Uh, Talon. All right. Um, I'm torn. Do I attack the shadow that's prone on the ground or do I attack the other bad that's coming up? <laughs> oh, so many shadows. I like the advantage that I have on the shadowy guy. Then, yeah, take him out. Yeah, why not? All right. I uh, threw, well, four attacks. So, uh, yep. punch one. That's not going to do. Oh, I feel inspired. No, you have you advantage do. anyway. You have That's advantage true. anyway, because not only is he glowing, but he's also lying on the ground. That was with advantage. And oh, he's then blinded. you can't get double advantage, so that's it. Oh, yeah, OK. Yep. Wow. Um, so that one misses. <laughs> so he's prone and glowing and blinded. But and somehow, I can't hit him. But somehow you <laughs> miss him. I was, I was like, I can't hit him I'm because I'm blinded and prone. Oh, no, wait. No, he's blinded. Okay. I got confused. That's fine. <laughs> I was invisible. I couldn't hit a vampire standing in front of me that didn't know I was there. <laughs> All right. It's a weird fight. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the second attack. The first one, you're like, tap, tap. Hey. Yep. Wow. That's right. <laughs> your attention. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, here we go. All right. Attack three. Definitely hits. Hooray. And attack four. Definitely oh. hits. <laughs> now you're just curb stopping him. So seven, eight, <laughs> nine, and then roll another dice. 
freaking. And by the way, I was thinking about the vampire before when you're like, oh, what's he going to do? He was still stunned until my attack anyway. He couldn't really move. Oh, no, he could. He, me, because he um, oh, is just legendary resistance. Oh, that's right. Yes, I forgot his. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's 24 plus 3 is 27 damage. <clears throat> Woohoo! Yeah, he's yeah. looking more hurt. <laughs> um, and I'm assuming you're just going to stick around where you are, Leon. Yep. All right. Uh, so I know that you can't move them, but my dust. Oh, methods... no, I can. No, I can. Where do you want them? I don't know why. So basically, they're going to swarm. Uh, like the the shadow horror. No, no, the like this guy. Oh, the shadow. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, so if it's okay, there's four of them and they're flying. So if they can flank him. Uh, yeah, probably. Yay! They only have a plus four to hit, so I'm not expecting great things from them. But all right. I'm hoping. Okay. So the first one. So first attack. I guess, uh, sec so with advantage. Okay, so 17 for the first one. I imagine that's a hit. Uh, yep. Second one, 21. I imagine that's yep. a hit. Okay, third one. 17. Uh, and the fourth one. Yep. 18. Okay. So none of those were actually the magic number. All right, so yes, all of them hit once. So that would be So it takes 19 damage from them just clawing at the thing. It's slashing damage. I don't know if it would actually, it's, it might be resistant. I'm not sure, but anyway. Yeah. Are they considered magical? I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't say that their attacks count as magical weapons. Anyway. All right. So then, so. Uh, yeah, he would be resistant to that. Um, so I'm assuming it's uh, a D4 plus two. Correct. Each of them is a D4 plus two. All right. So six would be three, five would be two, three would be one. So three, two, one, two. two. All right. Well, they do what they can. <laughs> That's nine, nine damage. Uh, I'm just going to move them over there. All right. That still takes him down more than half. Shadows do not have a lot of hit points. All right. Um, we still have a ton of these dudes. OK. Then I think that Leon is going to, because it's within 20 feet. Is going to like. Pop a sleep spell like right around here okay. to just get as many of these people asleep as possible. I just want them, uh, you know. Yep. Roll, want, roll. Four hit points. So 56 hit points worth. Yeah, I cast it at level three. So 56 hit points worth of these dudes. All oh, right. Uh, they have, uh, so that is five of them. All right. Yay, so many sleeping. Sleep. Awesome. Sleep. 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 And you are asleep. And then I'm going to back up to there. OK. Because this shadow's coming in, and I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, to do uh, mint. Oh, um, you have three choices for who you'd like to attack. Uh, I think I still want the guy that's directly in front of me because I haven't seen him 
really show much in the way that he's about to go down. Mm -hmm. And I have been wailing on him. So yep. I'm just kind of concerned now. To be clear, you don't have magical weapons, right? I do not have magical weapons. Yep. Should I have magical weapons? All right. Uh, 23 hits. 24 hits. Um, uh, do one moment. Okay, done. Um, I do fifteen hits and seventeen hits. Okay, uh, so. All of your hits hit except for the 24. Um, the 24 didn't hit? Uh, no. Uh, that is weird. The 24 instead, uh, you sort of, as you're using two weapons, you're sort of, you know, tacking down and tacking down, and then, um, you know, you're slightly distracted and you sort of look around and sort of slash one way, uh, and you end up attacking the shadow. Um, okay, then. So my short sword hits the shadow. Yep. Okay. Um, but otherwise, yes, yeah, seven, eight, and two uh, is 15, 17. The shadow was going to say something insulting, and you went to tell it to back off and actually stabbed it in the face. It's great. Yep. I, I like that, um, that narrative text there. That is fun. <laughs> Wait okay. your turn. Oh, damn it. <laughs> um. Alphonse. Yeah. Um, so. Sorry, I'm just checking if any of my methods get their dust breath back. And one of them has it back. <laughs> Alphonse is going to cast Moonbeam. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he's going to cast it on. Um, Alphonse has been in these domes before. He's familiar with them. He would want to cast it on the uh, the horror. He would want to cast it on this guy. OK. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Let's see, silvery beam pillet down in a five, five foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder. Yep. Uh, when it enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts this turn there, it is engulfed in ghostly flames that cause searing pain. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, how much radiant damage? 3d10 radiant damage. Okay. That is, oh, that's sad. Wow. wow. <laughs> really? Oh, dear. Yeah, that was two, two ones. Two ones oh. and a three was that 3d10. You want to know the really sad part? He's it's vulnerable to one. radiant damage, so you do 10 damage to him. Ah. If you've oh. done more, it would have been. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh that, that is rough. Yep. All right. I don't think that took. Uh, That's OK. Alphonse is like. He's feeling a little off. He's like a little anxious being back in the sphere. Like it's destroyed now, but. Yeah. So he's a little bit off his game. All right. Um, give me a sec. Oh, there we go. Moonbeam. All right. Uh, the Felidar with Alphonse on his back. Oop. I did not mean to draw that circle there. I was trying to select it. <laughs> uh, no, it's not going to let me select it, is it? Uh, no, all right. Anyway, I'll select those two, and and apparently I'm going to select the. Okay, they just all come as a. <laughs> no, stop that! <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, move you. Move you, select you, get you back to being sort of a normal shape. There we go. Nope, 
not going to let me select that thing. All right. Uh, they're going to charge over here. <laughs> Stop that. Um, and they're going to pounce on that shadow. <laughs> Yay. Um, <laughs> Uh, hit with the claw attack. It's with two claw attacks. That shadow is dead. <laughs> Yay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to delete Alphonse. <laughs> I'll bring Alphonse back. Give me a second. <laughs> they um, anyway, <laughs> feel free to keep going. Um, <laughs> Uh, do, do, who is next? Mint. So have you gone? You just went. Uh, they. Oh, they go. Okay. Give me one sec. I'll bring Alphonse back after I've done all of these guys. Um, so yes, these guys start rushing in. Let's uh, say they're Dal attacking that one. Uh, oh wait, those guys are asleep. They can't attack. Um, <laughs> they they dream of attacking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me one sec. Mm -hmm. You. All right. Then it sort of cancels some stuff out. Um, uh, and wisp. All right, and the ones over here, yeah, no, okay. Um, a little fey person is going to teleport to the other side. Uh, if they're there, they're almost flanking two different things. Um, and they're going to try and attack the shadow thing um, with the natural 20, that's very nice. Um, doing a bunch of damage, but not quite killing it. Uh, Wisp does not like being in combat with a person. Wisp is going to very quickly dispatch them with claws. Claws seem like a good idea. Wisp rolls a natural one and forgets to bring out her claws while she slaps them across the face. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Lamb doesn't want any of these people killed. These are the people that I can save. Uh, um, all right. Uh, this guy, uh, he's going to flail around wildly again, probably at mint. Uh, oh, no, actually, I'll, uh, we'll do one at mint and one at Talon. Talon has attacked him. Um, Seven, fifteen. Does a fifteen hit Talon? Uh, and that's with disadvantage. Yep. Uh, either way, it does not attack. It does not hit. <laughs> it does not hit. <laughs> uh, and a fifteen. No, sixteen for mint. Um, I'm still holding my rapier, so if it's melee, it bumps yep. up to nineteen. Yep. Okay. And I don't think it makes its dexterity saving throw, so it's still there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it's, is it still blinded and does it fall down? Uh, oh, blinded. Uh, yes, it did fall down and it is still blinded. <laughs> <laughs> so just keep standing up, playing around, falling down. <laughs> right, these guys awesome. are gonna come over here and just do <laughs> a double move to help. Sort of Yay. Put one up there and one over here. There we You're go. doing something. Yep. Uh, all right. And now I will try and find Alphonse in the Felidar. Give me one moment. Uh, <laughs> There's the Felidar. Uh, and Alphonse is in here. Uh, but yes, uh, Gilly, you can go. Okay. Um. I think Gildy is going to aim at the same guy as before, the ghastly dude who's in Moonlight right now. Yep. Um, this 
Uh, okay, so a 28 uh, definitely hits. 24 hits. 16. Uh, you're aiming for the one in the moonbeam? Yes. Yeah, 16 is going to hit him. Yep. All right, so uh, 6, 7, and 4 damage. Uh, that's still seven, enough. Seven, yeah. Because he had 8 hit points left. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> All right. I think, I think it's funny that that guy died first, considering the other guy's been lying there, getting stabbed and curb stomped for so many rounds, and he's still there. Yeah. <laughs> Not being hit by Gildy's three attacks per round. <laughs> True. It's just funny. I just think it's funny. Uh, Jacob. Uh, oh. Wait. Oh, go ahead. I missed the shadows. No. Oh. Oh, I must have deleted them accidentally from the turn order. Anyway, uh, well, there's one shadow left. He's going to, um, yeah, we'll say he went over to Wisp and tried to attack Wisp. No. And where's the shadow? Does that hit Wisp? That hits Wisp. <sighs> oh no. All right, Miss Takes. Uh, 11 necrotic damage, and strength is reduced by one. All right. Alright. Yes, Wisp has been hit by a shadow. But Wow. Uh, sorry, Jacob, there you go. Well we can't have that happen. I will attack the Wisp with a firebolt and use my bonus action. The, the shadow. The shadow, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <You're the> shadow. <laughs> Jacob I'm attacking oh, that thing. So <laughs> This is going too easily. We need to help them. (laughs) (laughs) Jacob finally switches sides. Uh, All right, roll for the firebolt. Uh, 22 hits. Uh, Fire does not seem to do as much as you had hoped it would. Eggers force bolt hits and does full damage. Go, little Edgar, go. <laughs> Shadow is not doing so hot. All right. Uh, anything else? All right. Um, Torok. Okay, so Tor can now move because the one guy's dead. Yeah. He's going to move here. Then he's going to breathe lightning straight down. So should get both of those. <laughs> yep. I think the moonlight would hurt you, though, wouldn't it? Uh, it might. Oh, so you might want to back up a bit. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. I can not be in the moonlight. Uh, yeah, actually... when you enter the spell for the first time, or right. start your turn there. Yeah, is that still going to get both of them? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yes, it will. All right, there you go. Uh, dexterity save for them. Yeah. They both fail. They have not been rolling particularly well this round. This is also the other thing that happens sometimes. They both take 13 damage. Sometimes things just don't roll well. That's going to kill him. And uh, 13. That was only one square to get there. They do not have any resistance to lightning. They do not have any resistance to lightning. Yeah, so dead. Finally deleted that guy. <laughs> All right, and uh, the spawn. Can... Yep. Well, I've got one more attack. Oh yeah. All right. Um, so I can still move some too. So I can actually get to here. <laughs> okay. Going around the thing, and I can attack this guy. All right. Roll to hit. 
Yep, that's gonna hit for 14 points of damage. Oh, and you have advantage because he's blinded. True. Oh, I will. <laughs> sure, let's do one more. One more 1d20. No. <laughs> All right. Um, now it's their turn. OK. Um, it's got a couple targets in front of it. It's going to try a claw at Mint, because it really wants to kill Mint. That is going to hit 21. Oh, wait. Yep. Disadvantage, disadvantage, disadvantage. Yep. Um, Please, nope, only a 14. OK. Second he, attack. He takes damage because he's in sunlight. Uh, also misses. Oh, right. And he takes damage because <laughs> I feel really bad for this guy. <laughs> Show you. I... This is how you fight vampires. You put them in sunlight, and then mm -hmm. you wreck them. Mail on them. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Uh, that was his turn. He's uh, he's not doing so hot. Uh, Talon. Uh, I guess. Oh, he is blinded. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, right. save for blind. Yep, so <laughs> blind. <laughs> you realize that one is a DC 10, right? Yeah. OK. <laughs> it's, it's been rolling like fives or lower. This is how their night has been going. They are not having a good night. I absolutely love how long those two guys stayed blinded. That was, that's been amazing. Yep, they are not rolling well tonight. My dice are not with me. All right. Just to be mean and fun, I'm going to move over here. Okay. And I will punch him. <laughs> Butt punch. Yep. Five gold <laughs> damage right in the butt. <laughs> nah, he's too short for that. That's, that's <laughs> one attack. You've got like three more. It's a really, it's a rising uppercut, is what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, dear. <laughs> All right, number two. These are all with advantage, right? Yep. You, you wouldn't look at think, look, think it to look at it, but yes. Okay. Next. <laughs> Normally, you miss on the first one and hit on the second one. It's true. That it hits. All right, eleven still not dead. Um. And keep going. Seven kills it. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm curious what's in the rest of the area. So then I'm also going to move, and I'm not really going to count my moves. I'm just going to. Got a stupid ridiculous speed at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, right. Because you can just see stuff. Well, yes. Now, in how much? Because, of course, the shadow is now dissipated. So, yeah. how much darkness is everything even in? Uh, still a little bit because of, uh, hey, it's sort of a reverse Pac-Man. Um, uh, just because you're still <laughs> in the Shadow Forest, but I am going to get rid of all the darkness now. Uh, uh, chomp, 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 chomp. All right. There you go. All right. So um, pretty much any other guys you see on the map are running away. All right. Um, there's the few left up top. I'm going to say that you managed to finish off the shadow without too much ado, because it has, uh, oh, come on. Oh, that's why I'm not on the selecting tool. Uh, six hit points left. So yes, you managed to finish off the shadow. Yeah. Okay, so um, I will exclaim the shadow forest is free. Kaka! Eighteen <laughs> doves fly up. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Nice. That was um, That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. If ever that was gonna work right, that was the time. <laughs> that yeah. was the moment for it. 
All right. Yeah, you have. Uh, I'll say that for Leon's sake, you are able to subdue a bunch of the others um, to sort of perform your ritual upon. Okay. Um, yeah, because those dudes up there, they're within 90 feet, and I have two more third level sleep spells. Yeah. Yeah. So you're able to <laughs> subdue a bunch of them. Yay. Hey. <laughs> I love that I have a, a firebolt and Leon takes out like 10 people each round. <laughs> <laughs> firebolt firebolt <laughs> death blindness freezing <laughs> wow that's impressive i'm uh, impressed by that well the, the summoning the methods really help yes <laughs> oh yeah but like i've only been i'm just like go to sleep 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 go to sleep, go to sleep. you're blind go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> that's all i've been doing this that's all i've been doing the whole battle sleep <laughs> and to be <laughs> fair the dust methods really should not have been doing a whole lot but yeah the enemies were just rolling pathetic for their saving throws so <laughs> finally finally he rolled poorly on saving throws against me <laughs> I love that my DC 10 blindness lasted for so... And the one dude who would just get up, flail around, and fall down. Yep. Ah, Big awesome. scary shadow render. No, no, no. Not scary at all. <laughs> yeah, that was um, surprisingly quick and easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. That definitely takes the opportunity to be like, see, Guilty, I told you that we would be able to easily defeat... <laughs> <laughs> Our opponents yes. and free the shadow forest from their influence. Why didn't we yes. do this sooner? <laughs> what were we waiting? I've been asking oh wait, that. we trekked forty days across the world, dude. I don't, I don't even know why anymore. Guilty and Alphonse both glare. <laughs> Jacob. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yes, so um, the 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 uh, the forest has been freed. Like there's still sort of the general sort of shadows in the area, but there's definitely um, the sense of dread, the sense of sort of heaviness and foreboding that was covering the entire area is just gone. Uh, it is just dark. It's the shadow forest, um, and within probably the next. Uh, 20 minutes to a half an hour or so, assuming you're sort of cleaning up and otherwise uh, Leon's sort of performing the ritual right here um, to cleanse the, the corrupted uh, peoples. Um, uh, Uarthan will actually join you um, and come over to Gildy and sort of, I'm, I'm very impressed that you were able to do that with such uh, speed and uh, uh, I'm very impressed. <laughs> you see it's... what happens when we stick to the plan? <laughs> there you go. That's our title Gildy, for this yeah. week. I love it. Gildy I shrugs better. and she's like, well, we had a plan. <laughs> that we followed for once. Yes. Oh, yes. Exactly. No, but actually it all worked out. Like everything worked out the way that I was hoping it would. We yeah. Totally, we totally took out the bad guys, but I was also able to like, put so many of the minions to sleep and save them. It was perfect. Makes up for all of the messed up plans that have ever all happened of them? before. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Like Mint that was looks at Jacob. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you even fire starter over there? <laughs> uh, that, um, was a, that was never a part of my plan. That's fair. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Talon, you do recall now uh, seeing, and Talon and uh, I think Torak were the ones who were close by, uh, that little ring that fell off I of the, um, the vampire. Yeah. When it well, and I was thinking at some point Leon would go over, use gust to disperse the, mm. <laughs> the um, dust of the vampire, notice the ring, use mage hand to pick it up and examine it without touching it. Yep. You examine it, it is a like beautiful looking ring. Again, all of these sort of sparkly, uh, you know, call the colors of the way around it and sort of tiny gems that are sort of embedded into the, the sort of, you know, platinum setting. Yeah. Okay. Uh... And if you use uh, Detect Magic, it does Radiant Magic. Ooh, what kind of magic? I haven't decided yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should I bother making an arcana check to identify it? Um, you can make the check. I won't be able to tell you what it does until later, though. Care of course, I roll a natural 20 <laughs> and have a 31. 
<laughs> and be right. like, ah, yes, this is something I will tell you about later, everyone. <laughs> What you get? Yeah, uh, what yeah twenty means Liam gets to decide what it is. Yeah. No, oh. ah. okay, no. Uh, it, it has multiple effects. I will give you that. Hmm. It looks like each of the colors of gems has a uh, minor effect that they can uh, perform. So, uh, probably radiates several different types of magic. Ooh. Determine exactly what those effects are yet. A multi-magic <laughs> ring. Probably nice. nothing protection, well, considering how fast you are. No, no, definitely no AC bonus on this ring at all. <laughs> all right. Well, as much as Leon would love to have this ring, I already have two magic rings, so I can't. And I'll and... definitely be passing it to someone else. Um, as the day progresses, assuming you don't go very far from this point, um, there are other shadow elves that start to arrive. Um, even for you, Gildy, this is a bit of a sort of surprise. You're not used to seeing sort of more than Uarth and, um, but there's, yeah, probably a good of like a good dozen or so that um, sort of slowly, like they don't get too close, um, but they sort of, you know, come to the, the edge of the, you know, cleared area and they're sort of drifting in and out of your vision, depending on what your dark vision is and how far away they are in sort of the, the darkness of the shadow forest. But there's, there's a good, chunk of shadow elves around that are sort of just like amazed and sort of wondering at what happened here. Um, and Uarthan goes and speaks with them for a while and returns to you and says that um, you have inspired our people. Um, the first dome has been destroyed. The shadow master is dead. Uh, you, we, we will finally do perhaps what we should have done many years ago and begin to cleanse the rest of the forest. Excellent. You get the sense that um, they probably tried originally um, and like just from sort of how he's talking about it, they things didn't go well for them and they just sort of stayed away ever since, but now they are sort of inspired to redouble their efforts and uh, yeah. They didn't have us. That's right. <laughs> they um, did not. I do take an opportunity to ask him, do you have any idea what the Shadow Master might have meant by the statement, she rises? <laughs> hmm. I do not. There is lore of uh, potentially a, a greater evil than even the Shadow Master that resides in the Shadowfell. Oh, the Shadowfell, you say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and perhaps that could be what he was referring to. I'm, I'm not sure. I see. <laughs> Well, <laughs> uh, that happens to be something that I read about. Yep. <laughs> and so, uh, if it would be Arcana of the Plains, the Shadow Fell, I would have advantage. You want to give it a shot? You can. Indeed, I do. Just give me one moment. I'm going to pull up some information here. Well, a 22 is the best I could muster. Well, 22 is still really good. <laughs> it's no 31. <laughs> it's not like, ah, this ring, of course. I've heard of this ring. I was just reading I, about it. I actually own five. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to find this ring. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Either that, or maybe it's like, oh, I've heard about this ring. I hate it. It seems <laughs> terrible. <laughs> ah, okay.
interesting. Okay. Um, so you rolled a 22. You think, well, you're not quite sure, but there's the possibility what uh, the Shadow Master was referring to was the Tree of Shadows. Okay. Um, in all of your lore of, of the Shadowfell and the Shadow Forest and all the research you've done, things sort of start to fall into place a little bit. Um, and in the Age of Titans, long ago, uh, there was a Titan known as the Tree of Shadows, which essentially often took the form of a tree and dominated sort of the realm of shadows. Um, but uh, they were killed in the Age of Titans. Um, and when she was killed, the Shadowfell was created from her power. Oh. Yeah. So maybe she rises. Oh. Well. Like like a baby Groot. <laughs> she rises. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So Oh dear. We'll see what that might mean. This could be worse than we thought. Um oddly enough, again, you, you rolled well enough. Uh, the Tree of Shadows was not necessarily evil. Right. It was yeah. just a being of shadows and of sort of the darkness that surrounds that. They're not probably the nicest person, yeah. um, but they're not like an inherently evil, like the Shadow Weaver, um, more on the evil end of the spectrum and probably was, you know, trying to instill the influence of sort of all this corruption through shadows. Um, the Tree of Shadows itself is just a shadow creature and also like it's shadow in nature sort of they sort of go together right. um but not okay. necessarily inherently evil so, so it, it may not have been as much of a threat as it was a revelation it it could be worse <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right and so i'm able to do the ritual and free all these people and now they're yep. no longer corrupted yeah and they return to like many different you know, forms. Some are elves. Some are shadow elves. Um, oh, we lost a Jonathan. Awesome. There we go. Uh, <laughs> um, some are you know humans and and uh, sort of various other races um, that just sort of they come out of of this sort of ritual um, and for most of them, there's sort of a sense of like they're coming out of a really deep sleep um, with, you know, having just gone through a whole lot of really bad dreams. Um, yeah, they're, they're sort of a little shaken by everything that they think they did and that sort of happened to them while they were corrupted. Um, but they are otherwise back to themselves. Excellent. Well, all of them who accept and embrace. I embrace them. I welcome them back and give them a very rational explanation of how they were not in any way in control of their actions and they do not need to worry about anything that they have done. But now they are free. Yeah, they're, it takes them a little while for that to sort of sink in for them. But yeah, once they do, they're, they're very grateful. All right. Leona's probably the happiest that any of you have ever seen her because this was like a thing that she really extra super wanted to do as you may have noticed <laughs> and so she's so happy that she was able to accomplish this um and uh Warthen will approach you and ask about the ritual i if he's interested in the details of it i provide him in yeah, extreme he, detail he, he will probably bring forward like he won't be able to perform it himself but he brings forth uh uh a male shadow elf it's like if you could uh, instruct them in in the in the ritual as we cleanse the forest we would like to be able to uh, do this for others as well yes of course definitely and i give them an extremely detailed explanation of the ritual nice and write it down if they need and yep just make sure that they can do this because that's like the thing that leon 
cares about the most right now. So exciting. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, like first like first session when we encountered these things and the first one that we encountered rob's like it used to be an elf leon was like that could be me this is horrifying <laughs> so since then leon has been like i need to free these people this is terrible worst thing i've ever seen and now she's done it and she's super excited yeah yay anything else that's going on as sort of your taking the rest of the, the day and the day is fading away. And again, it's still the shadow forest is still quite dark in here as, as night settles in. Anything else that the rest of you are going through or? Uh, the think, mead? The yeah. mead, yes, but there's I, definitely I, some I, celebration. I think at the first opportunity, I want to be like, all right, now that we've accomplished this, <laughs> Jacob, I believe that you had a place that you wish to go and we could come with you. Sure. What? We, we, we want to go now? That's a... Uh, yeah, that, I... Well, yes, that, that has always been the But, plan. I mean, there's, it's more than just me here. Group now. Well, yes, but you're the one we've... So... And, and Tor actually raises an arm. 40 days in the desert. <laughs> I think we owe you one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. No. You had information that you need, so now we, go, we need to go and find that for you. Um, as, as a slight aside, uh, Alphonse spends a little bit of time saying goodbye to the Felidar as their bond mm -hmm. is, is otherwise, you know, um, yeah. severed and, and it's sent back to its realm. But yeah, he's, he's very pleased to have met the Felidar. And uh, actually, uh, Alphonse himself is, is like, this whole experience has, he was a little terrified going into this whole thing and is now probably seems sort of a lot happier than you've seen him. Like, even after you freed him, he was very happy and, you know, got back to his family, but he's just, yeah, sort of beside himself. <laughs> yeah, both he and Gildy are a little, like, stunned because they had been kind of, like, working towards trying to heal the forest for so long, and then it just kind of happened. Um, Leon's going to ask Gildy. Now, uh, of course, the forest is safer than it was, but do you think that it would be safe enough for us to play some music? Or would that be too dangerous? Um, I think that Gildy would say that it's safe enough. The, the elves are sort of around and they can yeah. help protect if, if you want to celebrate a little bit excellent then yeah leon goes over and asks wisp to like play some songs and then she basically like starts getting people to dance and starts <laughs> teaching them like fancy <laughs> fancy court dances from dell <laughs> yeah that's definitely a new side of leon <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> um wisp is happy to play mm -hmm. um yeah does she know does she any tunes from Dell? Uh, I'm going to say she knows one. Okay. Uh, cool. She was in the village long enough while the Dell delegation was there that she learned a piece. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. Is it about a farmer? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, cool. Yep. Then Leon teaches everyone the steps to like a you know courtly dance from Dell. Alphonse picks up on it surprisingly quick, quickly, but like Gildy can't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> wait, let me see. Is Leon any good at this dance? I don't know if she's. Act wait, probably not. She's probably going to be terrible. <laughs> oh, she's okay. Yay. 16. <laughs> she's actually decent at this dance. <laughs> That's good since you're teaching it. Yeah, I know. Right? I, was just thinking, <laughs> I was like, oh no, if it's really bad, everybody's like, mm, thanks, I'll pass. As she falls down. No, nope, but Ace, yay, she dances well. Um, and they, um, you did have a couple people who 
who fell in the fight, a couple of the, the soldiers that came with you, mm. um, who, who uh, did not make it through. <coughs> um, unfortunately, there aren't any healers among the Shadow Elves. Um, what are life stone? You do have a life stone. Uh, it would only be able to bring back one of them. Who's our favorite? <laughs> Raise your hand if you'd like to get resurrected. <laughs> Such um, morbid humor. The the one that is probably uh, as you either sort of have a couple choices, but the one that uh, if not um, brought back will rise as a shadow. Oh, um, right, which we know. Yeah, yes. maybe let's raise that one. So then I go over to Talon, open up my bag holding, and like Talon. Talon <laughs> <laughs> dies. <laughs> A nice salmon <laughs> maroon color, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you look so much better in salmon than I do. <laughs> All right. So you're able to bring one of them back and save Yay. them from undeath. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I definitely teach Talon the dance and dance with Talon. And with Gildy's permission, we'll also dance with Alphonse. But only with Gilded's permission. Gildy <laughs> will give permission for that. Yes. Yay. <laughs> I think Mint and Jacob have started uh, already in on the sauce. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Been drinking. You with, are two sheets to the wind, well on your way to three. With, with a bit of drink, Mint tries the dance, but it's too complicated to follow while well, tipsy, so she falls over possibly. Mint mm -hmm. is just sort of. No. <laughs> yep. Swaying to the drunken music, yes. Yeah, Gildy can't really figure out the dance, so she gives up and then she grabs some mead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to, to let herself a little drunk. <laughs> and notices Talon's glowing and thinks it might be her drunkenness and like pushes the mead <laughs> stack away towards somebody else. <laughs> I, I think I've had nice. enough. <laughs> it sounds like Jacob and Torok aren't dancing. Torok's just, just carving. Yeah, because mm -hmm. Torok does does dance. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm, I'm, I'm dancing for sure. There you oh, okay, go. cool. I'm shooting off little flames. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's a cantrip. I can use it as much as I want. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna set the forest on fire. Probably but not. There's a flaming, very good chance it'll not. Flaming so birds are falling. <laughs> <laughs> All oh the doves. The <laughs> doves. Oh no! Does anybody get pooped on? Fire uh, doves. If there's 18 of them, there's a decent chance that mm -hmm. uh, somebody will get pooped on. Um, <laughs> when doves fry. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Who, who is the oh. person that gets pooped Eve. on? Does the um, makeup's hat protect him from dove poop? Yes, <laughs> yes it does. So it can't be Jacob. It, it has to be me. somebody else. No. Um, we'll say that was a Torok. Oh, oh okay, good. Oh, if it was, was Leon, Leon would have turned to Jacob <laughs> with daggers in her eyes. I don't think Jacob would have survived the night. <laughs> Leon got <laughs> I, I I see what happened to Torak. I go over and apologize and pour him uh, some more beer from the jug. My jug. There you go. Yeah. yeah. If Torak had been dancing, he might have been more agile and might not have got him. <laughs> you, you were a stationary target, Torak. Dance next time. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll say that one of them actually, like, they were flying around and one of them actually came down and sort of landed on Torak's shoulder and, and pooped on him. <laughs> What happens when you're statuesque, dear? Yes. <laughs> All right. And one of the twirls of the dance near Torak. Press digitation to clean it up. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's as a, you know, as the, the celebration continues on um, and sort of probably on into the night. Um, there's I'm going to say even like a couple of the shadow well come in and like get a little closer and maybe, you know, try the dance a little bit and are starting to sort of warm up a little bit to being around other people. All right, awesome. 
Well, I definitely um, make them feel welcome. Yeah. Anything else that's happening as the night moves on? I think Glenn probably just at some point, you know, sidles up with Gildy and is like, so what are your plans now that the Shadow Forest has been cleansed? Well, is in the process of being cleansed. Yes. Hmm. Um, I think Gildy, so Gildy kind of takes uh, takes a deep breath and she says, um, she looks over at Alphonse, who's just probably still dancing, and <laughs> says, well, Alphonse is probably going to want to stay and, and help the elves finish up the, the cleansing, and uh, I really have no interest in being apart from Alphonse again, so we will likely stay and, and uh, here and, and help the elves until uh, the, 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 the forest is fully cleansed of the shadow. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> and Leon, Leon leans in with like Gildy on one side and Alphonse on the other is like, don't tell anyone, but you were both my favorites. <laughs> oh. and, and, then she, and then she goes off to dance some more. But sadly, <laughs> oh. there, is a, there is a sadness to her dance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Alphonse calls him. You're always welcome to visit anytime. Anytime. Just drop by. Just drop by. Anytime. All the time. <laughs> oh, just you wait until I have television. <laughs> You're going to need to add an addition to your house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 my, uh, for a much taller person. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. All right. As, as the night goes on, I also stumble over to. Hmm. This thing is fantastic. I'm, I'm drunk. <laughs> you remind me of my sister, only furrier. <laughs> it's nice to have you around. I think that's probably a compliment. I, I'm, I'm touched. Thank you. <laughs> that is the best pickup line I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right, and uh, seeing as we're getting close to ten o'clock, we will we will end there as sort of a night of celebration. You have uh, defeated the the evil of the shadow forest, and we'll see you next time exactly sort of how uh, but uh, guilty and Alphonse will do to to go their separate ways. But uh, yes, Carolyn has a wisp that uh, will be sort of taking over. And you can start heading to the west and following uh, Jacob's path from there. Hey, we hope you enjoyed season two of the next level. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there's much more to season two. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> yes, these were not all the only shadows that you might encounter. All right. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, thanks for the suggestions. They're wonderful suggestions for tonight. Uh, uh, glad to, to have you guys along, and uh, hopefully you'll join us next time for the next level. Take care. Hey. Bye. Bye.